uh, the way they did tonight against, uh, you know, a guy that is uh, as good as it gets to in, in Majinski. He's, he's, he's special, and, you know, we were able to put together some good at-bats, put some good swings on him, uh, and also played a really good game defensively uh, tonight. How about the play, you know, Bryce Teodosio made out in center field, unfortunately had to come out of the game. Hope he's going to be okay. We'll know and maybe know more tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, Briar Hawkins made a nice play on a – on a pick at first base. So just overall, we played a really good game defensively. Sam Weatherly was special. Uh, and offensively, uh, the bats came alive tonight and found a way to get uh, you know the game one win here uh, you know, on the road. How do you explain hitting three two-run homers off a pitcher like Majinski when you can only hit two homers as a team mm -hmm. coming in? Yeah, I, I don't know if you can explain it, you know, quite honestly. I think I think we all we all knew that it's there. We, we knew it was there. It was just a matter of it happening, and it's more about our guys. You know, our guys continue to believe, and, uh, you know, it's just a matter of getting a good pitch and being on time to it and putting a good swing on it, and we certainly did that tonight. How do you get your guys to play relaxed? I saw you in the dugout mm -hmm. laughing. How do you get mm -hmm. them to play relaxed but also play like they did tonight? You know, we focus a lot on the process of, of just competing every pitch, not worrying so much about the results. It's more about are we going to control our emotions? Are we going to compete against ourselves? It's not about, and, and you know, I know that can be a cliche from time to time, but it's so true in athletics and in sport of baseball. If you get too amped up for a series like this, everybody's talking about how big the series is, and it's a it's a rivalry, and, and we all know that. Uh, but the team that, that plays the best in, in games like tonight oftentimes are the ones that are the most com composed, uh, that show poise, uh, that are in control of their emotions. And I felt like we did a really good job of that uh, tonight of just focusing on, you know, winning innings and just winning pitches and hit the big two-run homer, let's go win another inning. Hit another two-run homer, let's go win another inning. And we just really just tried to focus on the present and stayed relaxed and just competed and felt like our guys did a good job of maintaining their emotions. And we weren't perfect. We made some base running mistakes and wasn't a perfect game for us by any means. But, uh, you know, I thought we uh, just did a good job of being consistent and under control and we played a good baseball game. How much is it special is it for Sam to do that, what he did tonight mm -hmm. in this rivalry series mm -hmm. with so much extra pressure on these guys mm -hmm. and just to be so dominant like Sam was? Well, I don't think I don't think that Sam, you know, felt any any extra pressure. I mean, you know, Sam, if you watched his demeanor, um, one of the biggest adjustments that he made from week one to week two, he was really amped up in week one. And, and it showed, you know, his emotions. He tried to use his intensity uh, almost too much. And he controlled his intensity last week in his start and threw six and punched out 14. And he was even more relaxed tonight. So, you know, it just says a lot about his mental toughness. That's mental toughness. You know, can you maintain your control of your emotions in and, and, and an adverse uh, environment like this? And he did an outstanding job of that. Tonight. Was it a tough decision to pull him with a no-hitter? No, it wasn't because his pitch count had gotten so high. You know, we, we, we didn't look at the no-hitter as we got to leave him in there until something happens here. We were really more concerned with his overall health. Um, you know, we, did, we didn't want to just uh, leave him out there for 115, 120 pitches just because he had a no hitter just felt like it, it that was the right time to get him out of there how much of a bonus for him to go as deep as he did and then go over to throw as well as he did not mm -hmm. to have to use fires at all tonight yeah i mean it's it's obviously great when you can get through a friday night game with just using two guys absolutely i mean it just helps set up the you know the bullpen uh to be able you know to use tomorrow uh and, and on sunday and, and we'll get gilbert back uh, on sunday so uh it's great to get deep into this ball game and not have to use two three even four relievers when brewer hit that uh, home run that mm -hmm. got you guys kind of going did mm -hmm. that kind of just loosen things up more in the dugout because you guys have been looking for that this year well dylan is a funny human being <laughs> so i mean if you watch him he's very animated and he's a goofball uh, and <laughs> And uh, when he hit it, you know, he was, I think he jumped about eight feet, you know, uh, when he rounded first base, when he when he finally realized he hit a home run. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it certainly uh, ignited uh, the dugout. But, you know, I was at that point, I was like, hey, that's great. You know, it's two nothing. We got a lot of baseball to play. So let's, let's check back in right now, lock back in and, uh, and keep playing. But yeah, absolutely. Special that three home runs tonight. You came into to this tits game two all year, and you got three tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, we, we all know how important you know power is, and you know we you know oftentimes people you know felt like in the past, well, you got to swing for defenses too much, you strike out too much, and then when you don't hit for power, well, you don't have any power, they can't drive the baseball. And the bottom line is, is we want to put together competitive at bats, and it was it was great for us to be able to run a couple balls out of the ballpark and score multiple runs in an inning. You know, that's been what we've been lacking 
Uh, so for us to be able to do that tonight was big. And, you know, again, hopefully we can carry some good momentum into tomorrow. Talk about